Hi guys, I am here with a box opening of Nikki's skateboarding outfit. Um, I decided to open this separately from Nikki's other outfits or pajamas and accessories because I think this is going to be a little more detail. Um, and I didn't, that was, videos already got long enough. Yes, I know, I ramble. Yes, I know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I do not have Isabel's yet. When I get that, I will do the box opening with that. By the time you see these videos, uh, I might already have it, and then it'll be the next video. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I need to order that. And I've been trying to break up my videos to try to keep them around 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes is usually my goal. Sometimes they go over. Um, but that is what my goal is and I know some people do them all and they open them quickly I open them slower that way people can actually see the outfits or the items as well as I describe them because I do have some visually um, impaired viewers I've had people why do you talk so much in your video that's the reason why I have had more than one viewer thank me numerous times because while they can see the video and make out certain things they can see color but they not, might not be able to make out everything in a small video so it does help them and i want to be inclusive i want to include everybody um so anyway let's get to opening first off the top we have got her skateboard itself and it is a plastic skateboard um, we've got hooks on it for her feet, and then uh, the deck of the skateboard is black. The hooks are clear. Uh, the body of the skateboard is neon green. The wheels are like an opaque yellow. It looks like they'd almost be glow in the dark, but I don't think they are. And then it's got this plaid pattern that is um, mauve, purples, blues, and greens. And then at the top, we've got a yin-yang. Oh, I can't remember what the star is called. And a smiley face. Then we've got a bigger smiley face and a yin-yang and a purple and black checked heart. And at the bottom, we've got a big alien head, another yin-yang, and a smaller checked heart underneath the um, wheel housing. So that is the skateboard. I'm going to grab Nikki really quick to kind of show you guys. So here's how it would work. Her feet, I've, obviously these shoes are chunkier, but her feet would slide in to there. Um, the shoes that come with it are smaller, so they probably fit better. But that's what, how she attaches. And then we've got the shoes. And they are a slip-on type shoe, and they are a... Um, I don't know what color you'd call these. They're not really mauve. They're not hot pink. They're a weird color pink. Um, so anyways, they're two slip-on shoes. Um, they're not quite Vans, but similar in shape where they're canvas shoes with a strap over the top and then comes back around the side. So, like I said, these are smaller shoes, so yeah, they fit better. But that's how the shoes go in to the skateboard. Obviously, it doesn't go up that far. But that's how the shoes go in, so how she can skate. Then we have got this um, vest. It's a crinkly, um, waterproof material. The inside is mauve. The neck is navy blue, and it's almost, I i don't remember these being in style in the late 2000s. I remember them being in style mid. Um, it's almost got a uh, late 70s, early 80s style to it. So it's got like the, the three stripes. So it starts out the shoulders coming down at the top is navy blue like the neck. Then we've got a light blue and then a yellow and then the rest of the vest is all mauve. I don't know how much I'm going to use the vest. Um, not my favorite piece in the whole collection. Um, just came with it. Uh, when I put the outfit on her, I don't know if I'll be using the vest or not. 
Then it comes with just a basic pink t-shirt. It's almost like a neon pink that Velcro's in the back and it's just a plain t-shirt. Honestly though, guys, I wish they would have put a little alien on there. That would have been super cute. Put one on there since she likes aliens, even though it would be covered by these adorable overalls. Besides the skateboard, this is what sold me. I love these overalls. Uh, so they're just basic denim overalls. They've got on the chest, two little pockets. And the, it's actually got two functioning pockets on the sides. We've got the cute little closures that are gold. And then they're just long pant overalls. And there's the back. And they're like a lighter denim blue. I have seen people roll them up to make short alls, which were very popular back then too. Love that idea, love these overalls. Um, I've seen people put the overalls, so they roll up the overalls to make them like short alls, like that. And then they use her meat outfit shirt, that is that heathered gray color with it. And then they take her um, flannel and either tie it around her waist with the overalls or put it on her with the overalls. So I've seen some mix and matches with that. Typically I'm a purist when it comes to outfits, especially historical outfits. And that's more so because um, how the outfits go. Like I'm not gonna take Molly's meat sweater and put it with another pair of pants just randomly because that wouldn't have been historically appropriate for the time. But mixing and matching their stuff, I'm okay with even mixing and matching amongst the sisters I'm going to be okay with is just some mixing and well, most of like the other historicals are wearing dresses um it wasn't tell about molly on up i don't even think kit was before molly kit was the 30s 20s 30s um i'm trying to think molly had pants nanae had shorts julie has pants and shorts and stuff julie has that more than dresses and oh melody i don't think melody has any pants i think melody was all dresses too so anyways like since most of the historical line are in dresses that's why it's harder to mix and match their stuff like i said molly has one pair of pants she has some shorts and stuff too but it's not really mix and match type stuff but I think mixing and matching the twins, I'll be okay with. Oh, Courtney, clearly her whole line is mix and match clothes. I prefer them doing the sets like this because I find it harder. I get it, I paid 40, this set was $40. So I paid $40 for this whole set. The mix and, I have a problem doing the mix and matches just because, um, the cost, like, yes, you have more pieces and you have more diversity and able to change stuff up. But I just find like a pair of Courtney's shoes um, are like 12 to $16. And then by the time you add everything up just for one outfit, to make one outfit for the mix and match, you're over $40. So I, that's personally why I have a hard time with Courtney's mix and match. We have the whole first wave of mix and match, but I haven't bought anything for the second wave for my daughter. My daughter likes Courtney, but she's not a huge fan of, especially the second wave of the mix and match. If it goes on sale, I might look at it, and that's when I bought a lot of the previous one. They had um, buy two, get the third free, and I bought a bunch of it. Then if they would do a sale similar to that, I might look at that, or they just have a sale on her stuff like that in general. Maybe then, but... I'm not a big fan of the mix and match. So here is her pamphlet. It's her on her skateboard. People were kind of mad because the helmet and the elbow and knee pads are in all the pictures for the outfit, but they come with the skate park. And I believe a second skateboard comes with the skate park. Um, so I know some people were upset about that. And there's the skate park. And we've got, it takes courage for Nikki to make friends with other skateboarders in her Seattle neighborhood. Now she can't imagine life without them. She has a lot of new skateboarding lingo to learn. Deck, ollie, sick, noise, 
regular footed, goofy footed, grind tail, tux, fakie. Can you help Nikki match each skateboard term to its meaning? And then the meanings are skating with the right foot forward, a metal piece that attaches to the wheel of the board, wooden part of the board, to skate backwards, awesome, back of the skateboard, no hand jump trick, skating with left foot forward, front of the skateboard, scraping part of the skateboard on a surface. So, and then the answers are down there too. And then there's her in her skateboard part. So, I really enjoyed this 90s set or girl launch. Um, I had a nice time at the store with my husband. So this was the end of the haul of what I picked up at the store. Um, I am going to get a second. I'm going to get, obviously, as I've mentioned, Isabel's tennis set. And I am going to get a second Book It um, pizza set just because I think it's adorable. And it, my OCD is like, why does only one of the twins get to eat? Uh, I have been kind of looking for some mini books. I did purchase um, somebody had for sale from Courtney's set, the Sarah Plain and Tall book. It was in Courtney's bed. And I purchased that because I absolutely adored that book as a child. Um, so I might give that to one of the twins. Um, and then the second slumber party book that comes in the set, I may give that to my daughter. I might sell that separately. Um, and then just have one, one of the twins for their book it have the slumber party book and the other one have the Sarah Plain and Tall is what I might end up doing. That way they each have their own books. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed my huge 90s girl of the year, or not girl of the year, 90s um, historical doll release day haul. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye.